now we listen. I say, people ask me the reason why I dance. People ask me the reason why I'm in Lengbe. People ask me the reason why I'm in Jojo. People ask me the reason why I suck All I said is, my God is a miracle God. Okay. All I said is, my God is a miracle Just this time see that the Lord is good He satisfied my long so he's good to me Just this time see that the Lord is good
Sarah and the man. The earth is the Lord's and the corner there, the world and they that break their end. For he has founded it upon his seas and established it upon the floors. We shall send to the hill of the Lord, for we shall stand in his holy place. He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, and also one to save for him. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that see the peace, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who oh, this King of glory, and Lord strong the mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, you will lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of Glory shall come. Amen. For this King of Glory, the Lord of hosts, He is the King of Glory. sins you have committed meanly and or unknowingly. Those sins committed against the righteousness of God, against his laws and ordinances, even against his will. Remember to confess also the sins of your generation that cause for vengeance over you. Adventure you have committed a sin capable of taking the kingdom of heaven from thee. Those sins capable of detaching thee from thy God. Those sins capable of enhancing Satan and our enemies to prevail against us. Those sins unto death, destruction, shame and calamity. And even those sins that are capable of altering our destiny. Bring all these sins under the power of confession. May you now advise to play your repentance. Give God that double assurance now that you are repenting from all your evil ways. Give God that assurance that you are abstaining from your sins, that your dog will never go back to his vomit. Finally, confess those sins that my render to this service unacceptable unto the Lord. Lord Jehovah for the forgiveness of all thy sins. Pleading in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, as the Lord for total and final forgiveness, and you will be forgiven. For this moment of prayer, children of God, Bring your consecrated prayer to a close. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 
the Lord's Prayer. Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 
We shall be reading the only lesson for today's birthday ceremony from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 1. We shall be reading the only lesson for today's birthday ceremony from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verses 1 to the end. Hear you children the instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart contain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline in the words of, of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and get all thy getting. Get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory, she shall, shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the, year, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee, and the way of wisdom I have led thee in the right path. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, Thou shall not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass thou by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread, of wickedness and drink the, the vine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as the darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My, my son, attend to my words, incline thine ear to, unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are love life unto those that find them and help to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and preserve lips put, and preserve lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all the ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. This is the end of the reading. May the Lord add blessings to his holy word. Amen. Glory to the Father, so the Father, to the Holy Ghost, as he was in the beginning,
We have a Sabbath worship on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in this service, and Yoruba service is from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. Bible studies for Yoruba scholars is every Sunday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And English scholars is every Thursday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Every Thursday of the month is prayer session. So you're more than welcome if you're in the area, if you live in New York, you live in Brooklyn, and you would like to partake, you're more than welcome to join us every first Thursday of the month for prayer session. Also, Holy Communion service is every first Sabbath of the month, as we're all familiar with that. Again, we would like to welcome our celebrant of the day, that is, you know, Brother Lemmy. So, the reason why we're here having a Thanksgiving service is to celebrate with him his 50th birthday, that God has kept him alive, strong, healthy, and... Um, one can do it alone. It's the grace of God, and that's why we have to give all glory unto Him. Amen. Amen. So, with that said, I would not be um, saying much. We all know the party is it's going to commence immediately from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. tomorrow morning, and that's going to be on you know that's going to be at 183 Higgeman Street. I used to call it Higgeman, but. Now the GPS told us it's called Higgeman. So 183 Higgeman Street, and that is here in Brooklyn. And if you don't know how to get there, we'll give you the address again so you can put it on your GPS. I will ask that you please stand after me and repeat three times for prayer session. I was created in the image of God. I was created in the image of God. His spirit dwells in me. His spirit dwells in me. No evil thing can harm me. No evil thing can harm me. Because I'm part and parcel of God. Because I'm part and parcel of God. I was created in the image of God. I was created in the image of God. His spirit dwells in me. His spirit dwells in me. No evil thing can harm me. No evil thing can harm me. Because I'm part and parcel of God. Because I'm part and parcel of God. I was created in the image of God. I was created in the image of God. His spirit dwells in me. His spirit dwells in me. No evil thing can harm me. No evil thing can harm me. Because I'm part and parcel of God. Because I'm part and parcel of God. Amen. Amen. Holy, 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 Thanksgiving praise. Give him a thanksgiving appreciation for everything that he's been doing in your life. You're here today to have a thanksgiving service and thank God on behalf of the celebrant. But at the same time, it is worthy to take note of the wonderful thing that God is doing in your life. 
and how it's been strengthening you. It's adding more to your days, to your years. of your family, your finances, your job, your education, your going out, your coming in, your children, your relationship with others. No one is perfect. And God never claimed that we're perfect. But he expects that perfection to that human level that he's made us. I was talking to a sister in the Lord yesterday. I said there are some things that I need to work on personally. Ask God to strengthen you, to give you that spirit so that you continue to worship him in truth and in spirit. Now seize this opportunity to pray for the celebrant of the day. That as we're giving thanks to God on his behalf, God will continue to add more to his years. Amen. God will continue to strengthen him. Amen. And his entire family. Amen. Start bringing your prayer to a close. Pray for the church of God. Bring your prayer to a close. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Oh, Almighty God, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Almighty and most everlasting Father. Holy. God the Father. Holy. God the Son. Holy. And God the Holy Ghost. Holy. Thine lives are in thy presence, O Lord, according to their custom. They brought their hearty thanks unto thee on a number of innumerable things, especially the grace and excellence of creation. Thou hast created them in thy holy image, O Lord. Thou hast given unto them of thine own spirit. The spirit of the most high dwells in them. They are thankful on behalf of themselves and on behalf of their dear brother, who is celebrating his 58th birthday this very hour. By thy grace, O Lord, you kept him safe on the land of living. 
You've all along been his shield and buckler. You've all along been his rock of refuge. To this extent, O oh Lord, thou hast led. This is the evidence of his life. Almighty Adonai, come and accept his thanks, O oh Lord. Amen. And they are giving thanks unto thee in thine throne of glory, Almighty Jehovah. Come and accept their thanks. Amen. On every subject that gladdens their heart. On every subject that enables them to raise their heads above waters, that they are the children of the Most High. Do not allow Satan to destroy them. Amen. Amen. And the entire program of the day has been dedicated unto thee. Do not allow satanic interruption. Amen. Amen. Come and avert all evils. I invite these who might be traveling. I beseech the old Lord. Come and avert disaster. Amen. Let your universal protection cover them, O Lord. Amen. And let your blood of deliverance deliver them, O Lord. Amen. And every level of today's service and today's ceremony, merriment, Jehovah Jiri, come and be our principal. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, son, oh, son, oh, son. Please be seated. I have nothing more to add. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give praises to ever living Savior. Please be seated. We are thankful for this area and uh, we happily rejoice with each and every one of us for being here at this area and we are equally rejoicing with our celebrant. Um, it is very, very unusual for us to be so late in starting our service, but uh, this is a special occasion of which we couldn't, I mean, uh, do it in the absence of the, I mean, of the celebrant. So if this has caused any, I mean, a time misappropriation, we sincerely apologize for that. We've had the assistant secretary reminding us of the church program, and um, the after I mean, a matter of today's service. Um, when we finish this service here, there is a center for merriment. And I believe a large number of us are already there in the spirit. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, let's also concentrate on what we are doing here. As we can see the program, um, there will be Thanksgiving on behalf of our brother. We know that most of our invitees may not be bothering themselves to honor the church services, probably due to traffic, I mean, um, disturbance or some, according to their program. But all our invitees have also been informed that uh, there will be church service. But you know the stand of this church of God. When the Lord is in his temple, even the twin of his garment fills the temple. So may the Lord of hosts continue to fill this temple. Amen. So as we are here, we may appear few in I mean uh, in numerical strength, but I want us to muster, I mean, a very strong, bold and lofty spirit to make the occasion a great one for our brother. The earth is the Lord's. And the, the, earth is the, the entire universe is ours. Because we are the children of the Most High. Oh, yes. Yes. So wherever you are, fill the place, and the Spirit of the Lord will fill the place. Amen. So we will continue with the service according to I mean, the program. And uh, if there is anything worthy of note, it will be brought to notice before the service closes. Thank you and God bless. Praise the Lord! We are here to celebrate our brother's 
and we should all celebrate by singing praise and worship to the Lord. Let us all sing. Glory be to the Lord in the
bravo. yourself strongly in the course of your sojourn on the land of living. Do not let any other person hold your destiny. Do not allow the children of the world to hold your joy at ransom. Amen. When you are in the presence of your God, be there fully. Be, be there to the fullest. If you still feel that you are incomplete in the presence of your God, this is inadequate. Oh, yes. Do not let anybody take your joy away from you. Amen. Amen. The children of the world will never be with you. Amen. Only the children of God oh, yes. alive will sojourn with you. Yes. yes. Abraham, the man, Hebrew, only himself, and God established him. The Lord of hosts will establish your righteousness forever. Amen. No one will take my joy from me. No, no one will take my joy from me. I mean nobody will take my joy from me. No one will take my joy from me. No, 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 no. I mean no multitude of individuals will take my joy from me. Sing praises unto him and praise his holy name. Yeah, Father, thank you. Him before seven. In sixteen, be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and
Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thou art the only begotten Son of the Father. We are going into thy world in this moment, O Lord. Come and consecrate us. Amen. Amen. Consecrate your word in us, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, O Lord, we are marking the 50th anniversary of thy son. Your word is life. Your word is power. Oh, yes. Your word is salvation. Oh, yes. Let your eternal word continue to abide with you, O Lord. Amen. Amen. And every attendee this very hour, O Lord, do not let them go back home empty. Amen. Let thy word fill their boy. Amen. Number them worthy unto the end. Amen. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. anniversary a potential event in the sight of God. Amen. And today's word of God that comes to us says the complexity of birthday celebrations. You like to call it birthday anniversary, you like to call it birthday celebration. The word of God is leading us into how complex the simple question may be. The true meaning of this version of sermon is that suppose a question is put across to you, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Naturally, we will all run to our calendar year for immediate memory. Oh, I was born in 1910. Oh, I was born in 1850. Oh, I was born in year 2002. This is the limit to which each and every one of us will de I mean, I mean, I mean, define our birthday. But the answer to this question the answers are so numerous and complex. Because the calendar year does not exactly determine the number of your years. The number of your years depends on how or what requires your attention that moment. You and I need to understand that are sojourning in this world, we aren't in isolation. There are other players in our lives. There are other actors. There are other contributors. There are other people whose life rests on us. There are other people whose destiny rests on us. 
There are other people whose joy and happiness rest on us. There are others whose security rest on us. There are others whose salvation rest on us. To every this group of people, you need an answer. If we ask our brother today, Mr. Odubo, how old are you? He will simply tell us, I'm 50. But the one of God today will provide more, more answers to which you can satisfy every aspect of your life endeavor. But before we go into this complexity, we first of all need to define the essence and significance of that day. Father celebration has been an issue for debate among the followers of Christ. Some say they believe in party celebration. Some say they don't believe. But what on earth can actually substantiate your belief? Why and how can you say I believe? And your belief will be authenticated. You need to substantiate it with the word of God. Does God believe in birthday celebration? Or does God condemn it? From the scriptural point of view, the word of God goes in favor of birthday celebration. We will remember our Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 42. When his days were numbered. Yes, read. Now his parents went to Jerusalem. Excuse me, ma'am. Now his parents went to Jerusalem. Yes, his parents went to Jerusalem. Every year at the feast of, Pas of the Passover. On yearly basis, they will be in Jerusalem during the Passover. And when he was 12 years old. When he was? 12 years old. When he was? 12, 12 years, years old. old. Yes, ma'am. They went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. At the age of 12, Jesus went with his parents to Jerusalem. And when they had fulfilled the day. When they had fulfilled everything. As they returned. As they returned. The child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother. His parents didn't know he was behind. Yes. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. And they sought him among their king's folk and acquaintance. Yes, please. Oh, please. Thank, thank you very much, madam. God bless you. We are not going to where he has sat in before his parents that he was doing his father's work. But what is paramount this very moment is when he was 12 years old. Being a 12 year old young I mean, I'm a boy, which means definitely his parents must have counted from 1 to 12, right or wrong? Yes. Right or wrong? Yes. That means they were not going against the will of God. To number his years. And who actually knew what Mary was doing during this period? She wouldn't say, My son is one. And not Mary over his being a one year old, two years old, three years old, until he was 12. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Which means. If the days and years of our Lord Jesus Christ were numbered, definitely you and I numbering our days is still within the frame of his righteousness. Yes. And what does the book of Psalm tell us? Psalm 90, verse 12. So teach us to number our days. Yes, that sir. We, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Praise the Lord. The scripture is telling us here as to why we need to be numbering our days. Not for the good side of lavishing, money, eating, feasting. But we need to apply our hearts unto wisdom. Even our father David went further. He went further in the lesson read this morning. He went further and asked the father, Sir, 
When shall I be close him? He regarded himself as a laborer in the vineyard of God. He wanted to know. Psalm, Psalm 39, verse 4. He wanted to know, verse 4. I mean, he wanted to know, Psalm 39, verse 4. He wanted to know when exactly he would be close him. Lord, Lord, let me to know my name. Sir? Lord, let me to know my name. <laughs> Make me to know my end. On the measure of my days. And the measure of my days. What it is. Yes. That I may know how frail I am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He was like a worker in the vineyard of God. He wanted to know when he would be close. Do you think he was going too far? No. He wasn't going too far. He wanted to know. He was not living his days. After not being in his days, he even wanted to know the rest. To know how long he needs to travel. So not being at this is an essential aspect of our relationship with our God. It enhances our awareness. And it enriches our wisdom. And it goes us into action as to how much we still need to do. May the Lord continue to spare our soul. Amen. Now visiting the complexity of birthday anniversaries. As I said earlier, there are other players in your life. There are other actors. You are not by yourself. You are not alone. Your parents, they have their role concerning your growth. They are probably not reading the same calendar you are reading. Your spouse, he or she, may not be reading the same calendar you are reading. Then your children, they may not be reading the same calendar with you. Then your girl and your church, in case you are called to minister. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to visit these four cardinal, I mean, a, a groups of players in our lives. There are a lot of misunderstanding, chaos in many homes of the world. Children play rebellion against their parents. Parents disowning their children in the course of hard court disagreement. There is something missing. There is a gap. Parents do not let go. They don't accept the calendar their children are reading. The children are reading adulthood calendars. They read. I'm 12 today. In the next five years, I'll be 17. In the next three years, I'll be 21. I'll be myself. I will be my myself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the parents are saying, no, today is my bed, and he will be my baby forever. Amen. Hallelujah. He will be my baby forever. This is the center of miscord in most homes in the world, even in the houses of priests themselves. Children of God. We children. We need to share a high level of understanding with our parents. They are not reading the same calendar with us. They don't see us as being able as we think we are. Yes. Amen. They don't see us as being bold and strong as we think we are. They know that the world is fraught with dangers. So their concern is our safety. And this safety they believe we cannot provide it for ourselves. They need to do it. They need to, to do it. it. 
They need to do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I'm standing before you, I will make myself an example. And the living God is my witness. And I have a living witness here that is my wife. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you agree with me that I'll be speaking the truth if I tell you that I had a mother? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Will you equally agree that if, I mean, if I tell you I had a grandmother? Yes, my grandmother will come to my house as an adult. I'm going to tell you how how grown I was. <coughs> At least to the end of her performing this assumed function of a grandmother. I was an instructor in the Nigerian Navy. I think I must have grown. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was a ship petty officer. I was riding a Volvo car. I was in the politics aspiring for the Lagos State House of Assembly. Don't you think I must have grown? Yes, sir. I was in the church preaching the word of God. I had led the choir for several years. I was in the university studying business at me. I was all over the place. I was the entire Lagos State Senate, I mean a general secretary in political service. My grandmother would come to my house and call my wife by, she had an appellation for my wife, Amalese, that is someone like a complexion. <coughs> she would say, Amalese, that we will see, yes, ma'am. Get me, I mean, a department of years. I've come to bath, I mean, a, your husband. <laughs> my grandmother would take me to the bathroom, <laughs> bathe me, Wash me from head to toe. Because she suspected I slept for too long the other day when she came. She will suspect that the other day when she came, I, I, I mean, I stayed late in the night. She will come to my political meeting to ensure that I was safe. Who's supposed to be stronger? She. <laughs> eh? You. She did it until they retired her from this assignment. My wife is my living witness. She did it until I was 34 years old. If she were to be alive today, I don't know how she would have managed. Probably she would be doing it. But the living God is my witness. I didn't deny her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We children, we need to understand our parents. They are not stupid. They are not jealous of us. They are not trying to relegate us. Their prime concern is our safety. Social safety, physical safety, spiritual safety, financial safety. They are concerned. Our friend, their own life concern for the rest of their lives is our safety. But whichever way they exercise this concern, we need to share their understanding. There is no need rebelling against them. There is no need giving them that hard I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, resistance. There is no need waging war against them. Is our concern. Their concern is for us. Our brother Otubo today, brother Levi Otubo, told to my, I mean, um, for my information, your biological parents have transitioned. But nonetheless, you are still having your grown up brothers, your grown up sisters, and all the lot. They may not be seeing you as a 50 year old man. They may be seeing you as the lady they used to know. Yes, baby. They may be seeing you as the lady that used to run errands. They may be seeing you. I have my younger brother, a full blood brother. I was in the Navy, he was in the Army. I will flog him even when in uniform. When in? 
I can't hear you. When wearing his uniform, I will flog him. Anytime I realize or fear that he fumbled. Wouldn't you call him an adult? A soldier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So children of God, let's see what the word of God has to say. The book of Proverbs chapter 6, verses 5. I mean, verses 20 to 23. Proverbs 6. My son, my son, if thou hast surety for thy brethren, if thou hast... Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Proverbs 6, 20. Yes. My son, yes. keep thy father's commandment. Keep thy father's commandment. And forsake not the law of thy mother. Forsake not the law of thy mother. Find them continually upon thine heart. Bind them continually upon thine heart. And tie them about their neck. Yes. When thou goest, yes. it shall lead thee. It shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, yes. it shall keep thee. Yes. When thou awakest, yes. it shall talk with thee. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the commandment is a lamp, yes. and the law is light, yes. and reproof of instruction are the way Amen. of life. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, children of God, we should not take our parental guiding as nonsense. We should cherish it. Up to this day, and which I will forever, for the rest of my life, remember my grandfather's word of admonition. She would tell me whenever there was a task ahead of me, she would say, I be all not my focus, what you see me? That is, do not rest before climbing a hill. You need to climb the hill, then when you get to the top, it's only then that you can rest. But you don't rest before. So today, till today, if I have any task before me, I used to remember. So said my grandfather, do not relent until you have mounted to the top. And this is still guiding me. Allow the words of wisdom to keep guiding you. Continue to give honor to those unto whom honor is due. Respect their views. If you have any observation, present it with honor and dignity. We shouldn't be rude to our parents simply because we think we have any brighter idea. Or we think they are encroaching our liberty. It isn't so. That is just the way they want it. And you are their pride, you are their glory, you are their land. They don't want that land to quench when they are alive. They don't want that light to dim. They want you to keep brightening up. They want you to keep brightening up. They, to be shining. They want you to be the best. Not that they hate you. So this should lower the spirit of rebellion in the heart of children towards their parents. Not only our biological parents, but those better than us, the elders. Wherever we need to respect them, we need to honor them. There are other players also in our lives, <coughs> our spouse, be male or be male or female. Your spouse is somebody who may not be sharing your full printed calendar on the wall with you. If you are a woman of 72 and you happen to marry a young man of 28, you need to answer to his talk. <laughs> Right or wrong? Right. You didn't invite him to come and preach your obituary. You invited him to function. If you are a man of 92, you are married to a girl of 16. You need to perform. Don't tell her you are too old. You need to keep your home, your home warm. Amen. You need to keep great spirit in the house. Don't tell your spouse to either a widow or widower why two of you are still alive. You have a function to perform. Fill the house with laughter. Fill the house with joy. Make every night and day a joyful moment. This is when you perform your function. In this regard, you can't tell your wife or your husband that don't you know I'm old? Uh, what? 
what, 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 what does he or she have to do with your calendar? So before this individual, your years of calendar doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything to, I mean, to him or her, depending on the case may be. So you should end up that wherever you go, whatever you do, always remember that the calendar years on the wall or on your table does not determine your age. Your parents see you from their own perspective. Your spouse see you from his or her own perspective. Can we read the book of Matthew chapter 19, verses 5 and 6? Yes, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother. And shall cleave to his wife. And shall cleave to his wife. And they twin. And they be twin. Shall be one flesh. They, they be one. One flesh. Yeah. Now, now, is it possible for one flesh, for one side to be warm and the other to be cold? No. Since you are one, you have to keep him or her warm, as the case may be. Yes. Wherefore, Wherefore, they are no more twain. They are no more twain. But one flesh. But one flesh. What therefore God has joined together. What therefore God has joined together. Let no man put us asunder. asunder. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is our destiny. Before this individual, be, 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 be you made of village, it has nothing to do with your calendar year. If anyone asks your husband or your wife how old he is or she is, you will have to tell this individual according to the age of his or her level of performance. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If, he, if, if, if your wife is 92 and she's active, then you can declare 32. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the age of her performance, right? Yes, sir. <coughs> if your husband is 101 uh, okay. and is performing the function of 48, you will declare 48. Yes. <laughs> That's the age of our performance. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You and I today should not carry too far our calendar age. We should respond to the occasion in question. Whatever the disparity in age, you need to figure out a level of leverage. A leverage that will make your life active and functional. You don't need to sadden the life of your partner. <laughs> we are created for one another. And we need to satisfy one another. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another area of concentration is our relationship with our children. How do we relate with our children? Do we do we need to peg them to the day they were born and never realize that they've outgrown that very day? No, we don't. We as parents equally, we need to realize. We need to nurture this idea in our minds that our children are equally grown. When children are born, they look up to their parents as the greatest individuals in the world. If you are a 17-year-old man, your child will call you daddy, no matter. That child doesn't know you are, I mean, uh, you are still a teenager. Daddy is daddy. Right or wrong? Right. Right or wrong? Right. right. He will call you daddy. daddy. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you are a 12 year old girl, and you bring forth a child into the world, whether you like it or not, you are more mommy. mommy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, th th this child will keep looking up unto you for guidance. 
You are the best person in his or her world. You are the strongest man in his or her world. I have a personal policy. You want to know this policy? Yes, sir. I will never box with my ties in the defense of my daughter and my wife. No matter what I see does, I will just say, hi, brother. <laughs> because I won't like anybody to flood me in their presence. I'm the strongest man in the world. Amen. Right or wrong? Right. Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is how our children look up for us. If you see, you view our children from the perspective of knowledge. They have high respect for teachers because teachers teach them. They believe teachers know everything. Yes. They believe teachers know everything. I can hear you. They teachers know everything. They believe that teachers know everything. So they respect them for knowledge. Do not let your children know that you don't know. The moment you start proving to them that you don't know, then they start challenging you. They start challenging your intellectual, your ability, your wisdom. And as soon as they, there is a loophole, then they will want to take over. They will want to take over. This is how rebellion in home starts, which most of us do not realize. For the sake of your children, you can even seek knowledge. Yes. You can do what? Seek knowledge. For the sake of your children. Yes. You can seek knowledge. Yes. Because if you are barren of knowledge, they will rebel. Don't answer mommy. She doesn't know. Oh, is daddy talking to me? No, how am you going to do that? What does he know? <laughs> Children of God, this is wisdom, born to read. For the sake of guiding your children aright, for the sake of you maintaining the integrity they have concerning your wisdom, seek knowledge, seek wisdom. Can we visit the book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 only? Verse 6. Verse 6. 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old. And when he is old. He will not depart from it. He will not depart from it. Let's train our children. Let's demonstrate that we are equal to the task. Let's demonstrate that we, we have something to offer them. Let us demonstrate the fact that we are the forefront, that we are role models. We will keep earning their respect for the rest of our lives. So let's train our children. For their sake, we, we may seek knowledge. And we will never regret that we seek knowledge. Let's all visit the last aspect for today. is the aspect of God. How does God see your age? How is God reacting to your age? Children of God, relationship with God is ageless. Yes. Is what? Ageless. Take this for a gospel. Our relationship with God is ageless. In the book we had earlier read, the book of Luke, where Jesus <laughs> was in dialogue with the elders. He was 12. But the questions he was putting to them and the questions he was answering were so amazing. He ministered at the age of 12. So the Lord anointed Jeremiah in his tender age 
And the Lord shall him to be fearless and do his work. What, what does the book of Ecclesiastes say? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Just that verse. Verse 1. Ecclesiastes. Remember now. Thy yes. Creator. Yes. Remember now thy creator. In the days of the youth. In the days of the youth. Yes. Why the evil days come not? Thank you very much. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure. Then you are in there. Praise the Lord. Remember the Lord in the days of thy youth. Some people want to serve the Lord when they are useless in the social community. They want to give everything good away. I mean, about them to, I mean, to Satan. After that, at the old age, they say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I mean, like me, why did he call because while in the church at 92, she'd be using eye drop. I love Jesus. <laughs> when she was young, he never loved Jesus. Remember the Lord in the days of the youth. And what did the Lord tell Abraham in the book of Genesis, chapter 17, verses 1 and 2, bringing the sermon to the cross? And when Abraham was 90 years old and when, 9. When Abraham was, how many years? 90, 90 years old and 9. 99 years old, yes. The Lord appeared to Abraham yes, and, told and him said unto him, uh -huh. I am the Almighty God. Uh -huh. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will Praise make, the Lord. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord was making demand on Abraham at 99. Brother Levy, you are not 99 yet. <laughs> you are not too old to do anything for the Lord. Even including beating drum. Including singing songs. Including clapping. You see me clapping here. Whatever they do in the church, whatever the Lord demands, is asking you. A relationship with God is ageless. There is nothing we cannot do for the Lord. As a heavenly father, he has nothing to do with our age. We are never too old or too young. My brother in the Lord, I bless you. I rejoice with you. And I believe this word we keep multiplying in your heart. Amen. And it shall every one of us likewise. We need to praise the Lord. Amen. You may think that the Lord may not call you to service. The Lord may call you to service. Anytime. Anytime, any day, anywhere, anyhow. There's something I want you to know concerning church ministers. A young man of 22 may be asking you at 74 that how will you conduct his funeral? Can you understand what I'm trying to say? Oh. Your church members don't see you as somebody who will die. They plan so much on you. I want to do so, so, so next year. My pastor will be this. I want to do so, 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 three years to come, my pastor will be this. I want to do this, so, 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 another ten years, my pastor will be this. They will never plan that, suppose this pastor died. No, you are not dying. No. You have to keep working. You have to? Keep working. You have to? Keep working. So in God's ministry, ministry in the vineyard is ageless. So today, if anyone asks you, Brother Lemmy, how old are you? Your answer to say you are 50 years old will be very, very incomplete. You need to answer these different levels. Different levels of demand. Every level, de I mean, uh, deserve your age declaration. You need to declare your age to your parents. That will be the age of submission. You need to declare your age to your spouse. That is the age of activities and guidance. You need to declare your age to your children. That is the age of an ancient. 
agent who knows everything. Then with God, you need to level up your age to be constant forever. May the Lord bless you. Please rise up for prayer. Jesus Christ has saved you. We are thankful, Lord, Lord, for bringing us to this morning. We are thankful for thy abundant grace. We are thankful for this occasion. We are thankful that you fill this house. We are, thank we are thankful that you have consecrated the world for our sake. Almighty Adonai, come and accept that answer, Lord. Amen. You have spoken thy word to thy elect. Continue to nurture the word in them, O Lord. Amen. Continue to multiply the word in them, O Lord. Amen. And let this holy word be a group for so long. On the day of recording, I beseech thee, do not let today's sermon condemn us. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.
Testify to your increasing wisdom in his life. He's come to testify to your word manifesting in his life. Almighty Adonai, come and accept this time so Lord. Amen. He is thankful for the commemoration of his 50th birthday. He's joyous, but he has testified that the joy of salvation is an overwhelming joy. As you have drawn him unto thyself, O Lord. Come and continue to uphold him, O Lord. Amen. He has pledged to aspire to the highest pinnacle of spirituality to be worthy Amen. in thy sight. Come and grant this unto him, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Come and grant this unto him, O Lord. Amen. Continue to increase him in your spirit. Amen. Amen. Continue to increase him in your wisdom. Amen. And for every desire, every ingredient of grace, that will buttress your word in this life, that we continue to inspire him, that we continue to glorify him through which and by which your name will be edified. Almighty Adonai, come and I come and grant unto him. Amen. Lord. Bless him, O oh Lord. Amen. Comfort him, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Continue to prosper him, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Number him worthy unto the end. Amen. I bless his family, both far and near. Give to the come and bless them, O oh Lord. Amen. And everyone he has invited to the ceremony of his birthday, wherever they are, come and protect them, O oh Lord. Amen. Let your glory continue to write it around them. Amen. And as they will be feasting, Jehovah to the come and rebook Satan. Come and abat evil. Amen. Let your glory continue to shield them through. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. 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 Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, Oh, Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah,
will give hearty thanks unto thee for all that transpired in their life. You are their only God. You are their only strength. You are their only fortress. Come and accept their praise, O Lord. Amen. And I beseech thee for everything that gladdens their heart. Do not allow Satan to destroy it, O Lord. Amen. And let this grace be applied for the glorification of thy holy name. Amen. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. May the grace of our ever living Jesus have thy way to all your portion unto the end. Amen. As we be going now to the center of ceremony, socializing, may the Spirit of the Lord lead you through. Amen. May He be your shield and buckler. Amen. May He avert all the goes from your way. Amen. Amen. May he never allow any disaster to befall you. Amen. May he rebook Satan in your life. Amen. May the glory of the Lord continue to shine in your life. Amen. May his excellence continue to lead you through. Amen. May you continue to be the joy of your community. Amen. May you continue to be the joy of your home. Amen. May you continue to be the glory of the entire world. Amen. And may you serve the Lord unto the end. Amen. Through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Bye, Jesus, logo, motel, mo.